You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, let's just flash back to last NFL season. Let's say midway through the season, Antonio Brown was uh, one of the best slot wide receivers in all of football. Uh, Antonio Brown was coming off of a Super Bowl win. His stats were steamrolling him along with that Super Bowl win towards possibly getting a gold jacket if he could have stayed in the league and got one or two or three more productive seasons. He potentially, with his head screwed on straight, might have earned a berth to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Since then, the wheels fell off. He walked off the field versus the Jets. Bruce Arians released him on the field. There was a, is his ankle messed up? Is it not? There was showing his penis off to some random woman at a hotel at poolside. Anybody remember that? There was locking himself in his house in Tampa. There was the truck driver incident. I mean, the list of acts that Antonio Brown has pulled continues to rack up and it continues to get worse and worse it seems because this time i think he's pushed the level if this is if this is real if this is right and and right now you of course have to use allegedly especially when it comes to domestic issues because you never really know exactly what happened behind closed doors although this is something she might be able to prove Wow, I saw this and was like, holy shit, Antonio Brown. This is breaking news and it's outkick. Antonio Brown accused of sending explicit videos to a child during domestic violence call. Antonio Brown allegedly sent explicit videos to a child during an alleged altercation involving the mother of his kids. Tampa police were called on Brown in late November after an alleged altercation at his home involving a woman. A warrant was initially issued for his arrest, but prosecutors ultimately decided to drop the whole situation. Now, TMZ has dropped the 911 call and a very troubling allegation. During the 911 call, the alleged female victim claimed that former NFL player was sending explicit videos to my son's phone. That is a direct quote. She also claimed Brown, quote, smashed her computer and was throwing her stuff out into the street. Antonio Brown has a history of problems. A.B. has had plenty of off-field issues since getting the boot from Tampa. Even before flaming out in the NFL, he was often in the headlines for the wrong reasons. During Tom Brady's divorce, he routinely targeted the quarterback and Giselle with inappropriate behavior. After this allegation, it's much more troubling than anything else he's recently faced. The law shows little mercy to people involving children with, quote, explicit content. The age of the child isn't disclosed in the 911 call, but TMZ referred to the woman and her kids. Brown also has no children above the age of 18. Fortunately for the former Bucks receivers, he skated away from trouble after the allegations, but this 911 call is damning if allegations are true. At this point, there's nothing that could shock anyone about AB. Trouble follows him like white on rice, and unless he changes quickly, there will be continued negative news. This is potentially the most heinous of all things we've heard about Antonio Brown. And when I was checking off the list earlier, I didn't even bring up everything he's done towards Tom Brady. A guy that Tom Brady put his arm around, allowed him to stay at his house while he was able to get acclimated to Tampa, gave this guy a lifeline, and Antonio Brown ultimately shit all over Tom Brady. It is unbelievable. This guy is a scumbag of monumental proportions. I mean, now we're in Deshaun Watson territory. Congratulations, Antonio Brown. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. 
Uh, nuts. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Antonio Brown cannot get out of his own way. And this is a new level of low for the former Patriots, Steelers, and Buccaneers wide receiver. Oh, and by the way, he got into a big altercation with Mike Mayock and called him a racial slur, a.k.a. a cracker. Forgot about all that. Wow. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace them out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.